Hello and welcome to Just Vintage Crochet and today we are hitting the 60s with this 1967 Snood. Some of you, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right by the way. Is it Snood? Like Hood? Is it Snood? I see Snood so I say Snood. But some of you have asked for this so some of you are now going to get it. So here we go. 1967 Crochet That. <laughs> so for this pattern all you need is some four weight worsted weight yarn. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver scrap yarn here and a six millimeter hook. So we get to do something with a big comfortable hook. So let's get right into this. Okay, so they want us to chain five and join to form a ring. And in that ring, we're gonna make seven loops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay join with a slip stitch to form a ring. Now it wants us to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then slip stitch back into the ring to form our first of seven loops. So repeat this seven or six more times. One, two, three, four, five, and work a slip stitch to join. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, now we have seven loops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all seven are joined into the ring. Now you will chain two and work a double crochet into the ring. I'm actually gonna work it into this little, what looks like a stitch right here that my first chain five is coming out of. Just cause I feel like that would anchor it down a little bit better. But the reason we're ending it this way is so that it positions us to where we are right here on top now. Now we're going to chain five and slip stitch into the next loop over and repeat this all the way around. We should have eight loops. One, two, three, four, five, and slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and work a slip stitch. Okay, meet me whenever you get back around to the beginning and we will end this round together. Okay, now we have a total of seven rings so far. We're going to end the same way we did the last round with a chain two, and here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So a chain two and a double crochet into the top of the double crochet that we made on round one. There we go, and it has us right here at the top. So now for the third round, we're going to slip stitch into the same loop. So work a slip stitch. I don't know why I did that, but work a slip stitch. And let's see here, slip stitch into the same loop, chain five and slip stitch into the same loop. So one, two, three, four, five five and then come back and slip stitch into the same loop and then chain five one two three four five and slip stitch into the next loop over then also chain five and slip stitch into the same loop so what we're doing is we're doubling up our loops we have eight now what we need is 16 by the time we get back around so we're going to chain five one two three four five and into the same loop, work a slip stitch, chain five, two, three, four, five, and into the next loop over, and then again, chain five, and into the same loop. So do this all the way around, okay? I will meet you when we get back around to the beginning, and we will end this round together. Okay, so to create our 16th loop, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So we're going to chain two and work a double crochet into our starting slip stitch right down here at the base of our chain five. There we go. Now it wants us to repeat round two. And that is where we simply chain five and slip stitch into the next loop. Um, repeating all the way around, ending with a chain two and double crochet in the double crochet. 
So from here, we're just gonna chain five, two, three, four, and five, and slip stitch into the next loop over. Oops, slip stitch. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, and slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and there we go. And when you get back around to the beginning, which I will end this round with you, but if you just wanna work on ahead, when you have worked your last stitch right here, you've worked your last slip stitch into this loop, chain two, and work a double crochet into the top of this double crochet right here. I'll be right back. So we're, let's finish this round together. I now have maintained 15 loops. This will create 16 loop, our 16th loop. So chain two and work a double crochet into the top of this double crochet right here. Now you should ha still have 16 loops all the way around. Now it says for round four, we must repeat round two. So work a slip stitch, chain five, three, four, five. And just to make it easier for me to see where my round ends, I'm gonna go ahead and put a stitch marker here because this is where I have to work my ending double crochet. So into the same loop, work another slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Now we are doubling up on the 16 loops. Into the next loop over. One, two, three, four, five. Same loop. One, two, three, four, five. Next loop over. And again, into the same loop. Three, four, five. Okay, so this is the repeat all the way around, just like we did before, and I will come back whenever we are ready to join. Okay, let's end this round together. We should have 32 loops. So chain two and work a double crochet into this first slip stitch. There we go. So if you count all around now, you should have 32 loops. And it says for round five, we just repeat. For round five, repeat round three, ending, maintaining our 32 loops. So round three was just chain five and slip stitch into the next loop over. And that's the repeat. I'm gonna put this into the top of the double crochet because that's where we're gonna end, right there. So just chain five and slip stitch into the next loop over. Chain five and slip stitch into the next loop over. Okay, repeat that all the round and come back whenever we're ready to join. Okay, so let's finish round five. Chain two and right where our stitch marker is, the top of that double crochet, work another double crochet. So now I have some homework for you, but it's super duper easy. It says here that for the next nine rounds, repeat round two. And round two is the round we just worked. So no more increasing. We're just going to maintain the loops that we have now. Just keep working, chain five. Of course, I'm going to mark the top of that double crochet because we're going to end every round the same way with a chain two and then a double crochet. But you're just going to work chain five and slip stitch into the next chain space over. And that's it for nine rounds. So come back whenever you have hit the end of round 14. If you have a row counter, this is where it will come in handy. So now we're on row six. Okay, so come back whenever you complete row 14 and you're ready to start row, row 15, round 15, forgive me, round 15. Be right back. Okay, I have worked all the way around to the end of my 14th round right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up round 14 with you and we're gonna finish it the same way with a chain two and a double crochet into the top of the double crochet. Now, we are just about done with this, believe it or not. 
Now it says the 15th round, we're gonna single crochet in the same loop, chain two and single crochet in the next loop, repeat from here, all around ending with a single crochet in the first single crochet. So now we're going to bring this whole thing around. So I'm gonna start with slip stitch and a single crochet. Chain two, single crochet. Chain two, single crochet. Into the next loop, I meant to say. Single crochet in it. <laughs> chain two and a single crochet into the next loop. There we go. You know, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I wasn't saying the wrong thing. <laughs> Can't tell you how many times I'll be editing and I'll say, now go into that chain one space and it's a chain two space and I have to manually correct it. <laughs> I don't know where my mind is whenever I'm filming. That's okay. We get it done. We just do our best, don't we? Okay, so this is easy all the way around. I'll be right back when I get back around to the beginning. Okay, here we go. Just chained my last chain two and I'm gonna slip stitch into our starting single crochet. Now it says here, 16th round, chain one and single crochet into the next single crochet. Repeat all around. Repeat the last round three times and then cut the yarn. So we're gonna chain one and single crochet into the next. So there we go. Chain one and single crochet. Chain one, single crochet. I'm hoping this really brings it together because um, mine's looking a little bit big for a head. <laughs> so if this doesn't really bring it together, then I mean, I may have to forego the chain one the next round <laughs> and just start single crochet. Although I know this isn't meant to go around the head like, like a regular hat. This is meant to go from the top of the head. Like it's meant to go like this. So, and you can see it is a little loose back here, probably for comfort over the ears and stuff. So my guess is it's not meant to be super tight, but ultimately like you may have to secure it onto your head so we'll see here we go chain one single crochet into the next single crochet chain one single crochet into the next one over all the way around too easy too easy here we go I will be right back I'm gonna go ahead and work all three of the rounds that it's asking for, or is it four rounds total? Let's see here, we're gonna do this, repeat all around, then repeat round. So four rounds total of the single crochet separated by a chain one. So I'm gonna do work all four of those rounds. I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is all complete now. Let's make the bow. And the bow is really, really simple from what I just read. We're basically going to work six inches of um, basically single crochet fillet, if that makes sense. So it says to chain eight and work a single crochet. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Then we're supposed to chain one, skip one, and work a single crochet. Chain one, skip one, work a single crochet. Chain one, skip one, and in the last stitch, work your single crochet. Chain one and turn, and just repeat everything we just did. So in the very first stitch, we work our single. Then we're gonna chain one and skip over the chain one space and work another single. And we just keep repeating this row over and over again, we don't work into the chain one spaces, we work over them. And we just keep repeating this row until we have six inches total. And then when we go to sew it into place, we'll take our yarn needle and we'll just squeeze it down the middle and sew it in place like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this real quick. I'll work one more row with you. Work our first single crochet, chain one, 
and then work into the next single crochet. Chain one and work into the next. Over and over again until we have a total of six inches. Really, really easy. There we go. So I will be right back. And the last one. There you go. I'll be right back. Okay, so I am at six inches. Well, just a little more than six inches, huh? I guess I got a little carried away. No, I'm at, I mean, yeah, I'm a little, just a little bit more, six and a quarter. It's fine, it's fine. So I'm gonna find my join right here and I'm gonna put the bow right over the top of the join to sort of hide that. There we go, just like that, yes. Okay, so I lost all of the footage of me filming the, attaching the bow, because I did it differently. On here, they want you to basically twist it once and then sew it on. I'm not a big fan of how that looks. So I went with the more flush look. So what I did is I just ran my darning needle all the way up under the stitches like I'm going to hide my tails and I just did one came out this way went back in that way just once so it is open on the top and bottom but it is tacked down and I ran it all the way across and did the same on this side and I like the way it looks it so much better flush to the hat like this and you'll see in a moment what I mean because now we're going to go put it on my nameless mannequin but we're gonna name her in this video. So here we go, this is the way they want the bow to look. And here is the way I opted to do it differently. Okay, let's go see it on Miss Nameless. Okay, here it is on the Nameless mannequin. We have to look at the name for her. I, to be honest with you, she looks like Sophia Loren. I wanna call her Sophia and Sophie for short. Sophia Loren, you know what I mean? When her hair is down, I'll show you in a minute. She looks like Sophia Loren. But anyways, here it is. Super duper cute. So easy to make, you guys. I made this in just a couple hours. Just a couple hours. Turn her to the side so you can see. She is a full snood in the back. Look how pretty. Okay, this is perfect for summer. Make it in cotton if you want to. Just make sure that it's like a four weight cotton. And boom, oh my gosh. Okay, now let me show you how she looks and why I say she reminds me of Sophia Loren. There she is. She's even giving me Bridget Bardot or Brigitte Bardot. Isn't she beautiful though with her just her regular wig? So yeah, she gives me Sophia Loren. So she's Sophie, we call her Sophie for short. So fat. So anyways, you guys let me know in the comments what you think. I think this thing is super cute. I think it's super fun. I genuinely had a lot of fun making it. It was so fast and so easy. And for the summertime, I would absolutely make this in a nice four weight cotton. Like, um, I love this cotton. That stuff is really soft, but you're gonna get that four weight thickness. So anyways, you guys let me know what you think. I am still out there looking for lots of 60s and 70s stuff. I've actually gotten some 60s and 70s stuff from some of you. And uh, be on the lookout for a happy mail video coming up soon because I've got a lot of it and I've got a lot of people to thank. So I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye. But I don't